Hi guys, it is 12.45 and we're going to eat some lunch. I finally put up like two days ago's video <laughs> and get back to studying for a little bit. We were going to um, go out to the garage and get the stuff to decorate the coffee bar and put up the tree, but it is like sleet snowing where the wind is like beating you up. I just went outside to put my um, like window shield on my car and it was a mess. So I don't want to go out there and I don't want to stand out there and freaking look through the garage for 30 minutes. So mm, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. So I don't know what we're going to do today. I really need to clean up and I've been saying that for like three days. So maybe we'll do a little deep clean. I need to put the dishes away, do the dishes, um, you know, that type of vibe today. I'm feeling a lot better from yesterday. I was definitely sad that that affected my grade when I didn't need to, but we bounced back. All I can do is just try and get a better grade on the exam because I really wanted to keep my B in that class. I'm gonna use my upsetness and anger to, not even anger, but just like frustration, I guess, to make me work harder. Classic nursing school A type personality, right? here we are. It's too late to change now. I'm 23 years in of being this way and we vibe in. But um, after I eat some lunch, we're going to open up our present to keep the vibes up for the day. And yeah, that's pretty much all we got going on today. Maybe clean the shenanigans room. Mm, I don't know. Kind of could do that next week. Also, you know what I hate? When I literally do everything and then forget to fill my water. Like, I come back, have my whole desk set up and all my notes and stuff, and then I didn't fill my water. Like, so disappointing. Bye. I'm going to eat my lunch, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, guys. It is 5.40 p.m. I have been studying literally all day. I'm okay with that. I know it's pretty boring though, um, especially because I didn't go get the stuff outside. But good thing I didn't because there's a full blown snowstorm out there. And I just don't think that my pulmonologist would prefer that for me. And I would not prefer it either. So we're going to do a little deep clean break. So from six to seven, we're going to do. And I clean the kitchen. Not fully clean as much as I want to, but put the dishes away, wash the dishes, I don't know, think about dinner, have a little treat. Mm -hmm. Always a treat. And also right now we're going to open up our gift. As you guys can already tell, clearly, I'm insane when it comes to studying. And I'm okay with that. I, I like to think that it's helped me gotten this far. And I also like to think that by the next Vlogmas, I will be getting penned and starting my freaking career. Only took 50 years, but it's not about how long it takes. It's about what you do when you get there. And I can tell you right now, when I pass that NCLEX, I'm going to make the biggest freaking impact on this world that I possibly can. And I can't wait. So, with that being said, I did these note cards, <laughs> which is like, okay, the, so like I told you guys before, we do our test in like three big chunks. So, this is the third chunk, and this is the first two chunks of stuff that I already knew and like got stored in there already, and this is stuff that I want to like brush up on because this past test was my worst test. Not that it was like horrible but it just wasn't as good as my first two tests so I trust myself on the first two test information but I gotta grind this out and I also have to grind out questions I told you guys I already do 50 questions a day but obviously I have a question schedule um because I just want to get through lots and lots of things and that's okay but let's open up um today's gift so today is the ninth this is our gift. I don't know. Feels soft. This is day nine. So let's see what we got. Ah! Oh! Look at that. It's a pajama set 
Oh, what fun. And then it has these um, like long john material pants. I love that so much. That's so cute and festive. And of course, y'all know I love my Christmas pajamas around here. So you will definitely see these going forward in another day of Vlogmas. This, I'm excited. I love cozy pajamas. Guys, let's go to the kitchen and get to work. <laughs> cleaned the dishes and put the dishes away and just did all that that literally took like 40 minutes but that was a really really good study break for me i know you guys like study break yeah maybe i should turn this other light on so then you can actually see me a little bit um yeah that is a really good study break for me it takes my mind off of things literally just easy scrub dub dishwasher and go Tonight for dinner, we're having a lovely quesadilla. I'm honestly sleepy, but I'm gonna grind out the rest of my questions and I'm gonna lay down a little bit early and edit yesterday's video so then I'm not three days behind. Um, yeah, so I'll see you guys when it's time to do questions. Bye! Hi guys, it's time for post-dinner treat. I am absolutely in my I need something sweet after dinner era. Like, it didn't hit me until probably like a year ago. And I don't need something super sweet. I just need like a, like a single Hershey nugget. Or like literally a single Hershey kiss. Just a little something. A little something. Tonight, the little something is... An ice cream gingerbread man. I love ice cream sandwiches. However, my favorite ice cream sandwich is the classic... I actually have two types of favorite ice cream sandwiches. My first favorite ice cream sandwich is the classic ice cream sandwich with the mini chocolate chips. I really like ice cream sandwiches because they taste like the cookie of the Oreo. Like, you know how Oreo uses the special, like, cacao or whatever? I think that's how you say it. That makes us like it more. Um, ice cream sandwiches are a whole lot cheaper. Ice cream sandwiches are, for the most part, consistent whether you get the generic or the name brand. If you get a name brand Oreo, that's all I'm going to say. That's it. <laughs> but my mom got these gingerbread ice cream sandwiches, which I don't know because I'm kind of a gingerbread snob. Oh, wait, I didn't say my second favorite ice cream sandwich. My second favorite ice cream sandwich is the regular ice cream sandwich with cookies and cream um, ice cream on the inside of the ice cream sandwich. You know what else I'm currently thinking that I'm sure is already made, but just that I need to find? An ice cream sandwich with peppermint ice cream on the inside. Oh, that would probably be so good. Anyway, my mom got these. I'm going to try it. Gingerbread is... My favorite gingerbreads aren't notoriously sweet. And I also can tell that this... Ice cream, she bland. She's literally nothing but basic old vanilla. It honestly looks like whipped cream instead of ice cream, but... Mm. Yeah, it's that soft, fake ice cream. Well, I can't say fake ice cream, but... Mm. It's not ice cream, ice cream. I don't know how to describe it other than that. Um, The gingerbread itself, though... Just in that little lick. Tastes very good. 
smells very good and that's what i was gonna say my favorite types of gingerbreads are not sweet they are like nutmeggy cinnamony that's what i want when i am interested in a gingerbread but i also was raised by old people so i was eating ginger snaps when i was freaking four years old i love me a good ginger snap Everybody my age hates ginger snaps. But when I'm wanting a sweet and spicy cookie, I'm going to go for like a snickerdoodle or something like that. I'm not going to go for gingerbread because I want my gingerbread to be all spice. This is pretty deep. I could obviously write a freaking thesis on gingerbread men after this, but that's not the point. Let's get into it. I don't want to bite his head off first. Yeah. The ice cream is absolutely terrible. Like, it's so bad. It doesn't taste like anything. It doesn't even have the texture of ice cream. Maybe it's not ice cream. Let me go look at the box. Okay, the box does say vanilla ice cream. And I just like to say that's a lie. I don't know what this is, but it's not ice cream. This is like whipped milk. Yeah, I'm literally dairy free. I think I would know what fake ice cream tastes like. Or maybe they didn't use real milk. They used, like, the powder milk that they use. But the cookie hits. So that's at least for something. However, I gotta give it a 3 out of 10 just because the ice cream is so bad. Like, actually, I'll rate them separately. The cookie gets an 8 out of 10. And the ice cream gets a 3 out of 10. But I must say... It does hit for an after dinner snack. Take that as you will. That's all I got. Alrighty guys, that is it for today. I'm sorry, I know this was another super boring day. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Have a good night. If you're liking Vlogmas so far, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye! Okay.